We're going to translate the, the written letter. During present worship, give me a few time. Let me sing one verse. Watu wali yoitwa kwa jina lake Yesu wawe baru wanzuri na yenye kupendeza mukaliti ineno na muza matunda muweki alelezo kwa watu wa dunia ninyi ninyi barua yakusoma na watu hmm, kwa matendo yenu hmm, na mwenendo wenu mukaliti ineno na muza matunda Mweki ya lelezo Kwa watu wa dunia Ninyindi nyi barua Ya kusama na watu Kwa matendo yenu Na mwenendo wenu Mukaliti ineno Na muza ya matunda Mweki ya lelezo Kwa watu wa dunia Kadiyo si manichu wa ibu Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Panasifiwa! Amina! May God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, we thank God for this opportunity. For all of us that are members of Hope of Life. Uh, Hope of Life. Members of Hope of Life, the family of Hope of Life. Our guests. Uh, Praise the Lord. Uh, I want to receive you in this moment of hearing the word of God. I receive my interpreter Jolie. I would like you to greet your neighbor. Tell them you are welcome in this moment. As we going fast, let's read the word of God. In the uh, book of First Corinthians. First Corinthians. Chapter two, verse sixteen. First Corinthians chapter two, verse sixteen. Bese ninde wigeze kumenya icyo witeka atekereza ngo amwigishe nyamara twebwe dufite gutekereza kwa Kristo amen For who has known the mind of the Lord so as to instruct him but we have the mind of Christ amen Hallelujah Hallelujah Ah tuje nyuma tuje mu migani tusome migani Let's read in Proverbs Imigani 23 cyangwa se 23 Proverbs 23 uh, 23 verse 7 uh, yenda arakubwira ati ngwino ngufungurire ariko umutima we tabwo uba uhuje nawe amen for he is the kind of person who is always thinking about the cost. Eat and drink, he said to you, but his heart is not with you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, today, I, I wished us to speak this word of God. Uh, the theme of the teaching or the preaching of today. The thinking of the kind of person that have met Jesus. The thinking or the character of the person that have met Jesus. Uh, Thank you so much, singers. They sang a song that I like. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The thinking 
or the character of the person that has met Jesus. Iyo dusomye Bibiliya. When you read the Bible, cyane isezerano isezerano ririsha. Especially in the New Testament. Ah, kuva kera. Ah, since long time ago. Abantu benshi bage bifuza kureba Yesu. Many people have wished to see Jesus. Bage bifuza kubona Yesu. They have wished to see Jesus. Iyo muva inkuru za Yesu bifuza kumubona. After hearing his news that we want to see him. Bamwe muri bo and some of them bamwe bifuzaga Yesu kugira ngo abakemure ibibazo bya abantu muzima busanzwe. Some of them want Jesus to help with the daily lives. Swate na barwayi. Maybe they were sick. Bashaukira. They want to get healed. Abandi barashonje bafite inzara. And maybe some are hungry they want to be full. They want food. Abandi bafite And some others have demons. Barashaka ko Yesu ababohoriza ngoyi. They want Jesus to free them. Ico ni gice cy'ambere. That's the first part. Abandi bashaka kureba Yesu. Other people want to see Jesus. Jiste kubera amatsiko gusafitiye Yesu. Simply because they want to see him. Kubera inkuru ze bumvise. Because of the news or the story that they heard. Bakifuza kureba Yesu. They just want to see him. Ico ni kindi gice. That's another part. Hari nabandi nabo. And there are others. Bashaka kureba Yesu. They would want to see Jesus. Cyangwa bashaka Yesu. They want to meet Jesus. Kugira ngo bamwice. So they can kill him. That Herodias. And there's others. They have met Jesus by accident. But by, with Jesus it was not by accident. That's another part. Hallelujah. 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 How did you meet Jesus? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bibiliya izitubwira The word of God tells us Ah uh, hariya muri uko 2019 Look at 19 Itubwira amakuru y'ubuga bita Zakayo It tells us about the story of the Zacharias Uyu Zakayo we This man Zacharias iwe yifuje he wanted to see iwe yifuje kureba Yesu He just want to see Jesus Bibiliya izitubwira ngo yari yari ahantu ahantu yaratuye gwa kwaga Jericho the Bible said where he lived, he used to call Jericho. And this man has a major problem. In the society where he lived, or the way he lived, it was not a pleasant life. Why? Because of the job that he was doing. The Bible said this man was a tax collector. You know how to collect taxes. Taxes. Uh, at that time, uh, it was on the, king, on, the, on the kingdom of Romans. And the, the taxes was very high. And Zacchaeus, he was a, uh, the, the, all, the big uh, tax collector. But he had this thirst of stealing. Where well, the normal tax that we have. And he will add his own taxes. And it made them, it made the people around him do not, not like him. And the day came. He heard that Jesus is coming in Jericho. He said, I'm going to see him today. Because I heard, he heard about him. He said, I have to see this man. He went just like everybody else. He had a private uh, disability. He was short. And he wasn't able to see Jesus because there was a lot of people. The Bible says Zacchaeus went on the, on the tree. And when Jesus passed by, saw him. And he says, Zacchaeus, come down. And he said, today I'm going to be in your house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, the people that were there. Pharisees, they, try, they start judging him. They said, this man, a thief man, a, a thief man, how can Jesus say that he's going to, to be in his house? house? There are smart men, there are, there are many good men around here that know about religion. Why can he go and spend the day with them? Why is he saying that he's going to spend the night to Zacchaeus? A thief, a thief that is known in this community. 
Jesus said today I'm going to stay in your house. When you read, there's something that amazed me. When Jesus, when Zachariah saw Jesus, he said, Master. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, Master. Uh, normally the ma uh, Zacchaeus masters it was Romans where he, he gave his report that was his bosses but when he met Jesus he said master hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, Master. He said, Today, the third of my, my, my salary or my, my wealth, I'm going to give to the poor. And he said, People that I took this, I am going to repay them four times. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you meet Jesus, you change your characters. You change your path of your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Without nothing else happened, just met with Jesus. When, when Zacchaeus met with Jesus, he said, Today, I am changing the part of the path of my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nele kutana na Yesu Nimekutana na Yesu wangu Yeye mwenye uwezo akaniokoa Yeye mwenye uwezo akaniokoa Haleluya Haleluya Ihuwe na Yesu When you meet with Jesus Paje uzimo kwa bila hindu the page of your life changed. The, the Bible tells us in John's about the, the woman that made Jesus. That woman was an accident to meet with Jesus, but Jesus to meet her was not an accident. The Bible tells us about the woman. The Bible says Jesus was coming from Judea, was going to Samaria, was going to Galilee. And it was possible for him to go through Samaria. So it was possible for him to go to Samaria. And then when he went to that village, it was where there was the Jacob's well. He was sitting there, and the disciples went in the village to find something to eat. It was around noon. As he was sitting there, he saw a woman coming to fetch water. The woman came to fetch water. Jesus and Jesus greeted her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you read that news, that story, it, it shows that that woman was lazy. She had a lot of problems. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible said he was a, she was a prostitute because of the thirst of prostitutes. It caused her a lot of problems. There's a one problem that caused because of the thirst that she had, many people in the community do not like her. Many people in the community do not like her. She went and isolated herself. She went and isolated herself. She went and isolated herself. It was not only isolation, but it was only a, it was again a burden to her. Because of being scared of others, she will go to fetch water when everybody else is resting. On a son, her, that's the time for her to go fetch water. Because the thirsty that she had, it caused her 
a, a lot of problems. If you read the verse, you will even find that she had division in herself. Because she said, Jesus, you are a Jew and I'm a Samaritan. How am I going to give you water? You can imagine what she thinks about that. Somebody is asking you about water. And you, the first question is, you are this and I am this. You know that we are no we are associates. Why are you asking me water? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says when he met with Jesus, when she met with Jesus, when she felt Jesus really good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, that woman's path of his own life The Bible said she, she, she ran. She left her joy there. She went in the village. She went and proclaimed Jesus in the village. The Bible said that day, a lot of people received Jesus. A lot of people received Jesus because of that woman. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you meet with Jesus, maybe the thirsty of a thief. There is a thirsty of helping others. Where there was a thirsty of prostitution, there is a thirsty of giving um, evangelism. Where there was a hatred, you will have love instead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because you have changed your thoughts. The Bible said there's nobody that met with Jesus. Meeting with Jesus very good. And then go the way you came. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nobody that has met Jesus. And go the same way that they came. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you meet with Jesus. You have a change, you have a heart to miss the services. You have the heart to love Jesus. You have the heart to found, to search for God. Your heart we envy, we want. Your heart we want to see the face of Jesus. In Psalm 42, it says, just like how you. This, Just like how it is eager to find water. It says that how my heart it is eager to find God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you meet with Jesus, your heart is so hard, it is so thirsty to find Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ukwamaza futsa mere rumuti mawaka. Niko yesu ya mere ye. Oh, kukwamaza futsa mere rumuti mawaka. Niko yesu ya mere ye. Nuhebgo ko, nuhebgo ko ufiti. Mana yabgi ubahafi kukuite kaza hora nana kwe mutima wajehu mura. Hallelujah. 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 Amina. When you meet with Jesus, your, th your thoughts change. The way you think, it changes. The thing or the thought or the character of the person that has met with Jesus, it is way different from the other person that hasn't been Jesus. We read here in Proverbs. Solomon said the same way that the person thinks in his heart. He said the same way that the person is. The way you think in your heart, that's the way you are. On B, he amazed me. He said if somebody said, come and get something to eat. 
without his heart being agreed with that why he said he meant it what kind of person is that if I tell you I'm Kesha, come let me give you something to eat but I'm telling her by in my heart I don't mean it that means I'm Kesha we come and eat in my house he, she ate and my heart is no, no even though I told her it's like she fed herself I didn't fed her Myself. Myself. The, enemy, the person that I am. It is not the person that fed her. Because I am the person that thought about the thought that I had before. I just told her, but that's not what I meant. This is what Solomon meant. He's trying, he was trying to say that we are equal to our thoughts. We are equal to our thoughts. You cannot be bigger than your thoughts. You cannot be bigger than your thoughts. You cannot go far from your thoughts. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But the person that met um, Jesus, um, the person that has seen Jesus, you have a certain kind of thoughts. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We read where Paul written to Corinthians. He said, as we have the thought of Christ. He said, but as who are they? He said, but as we have the mind of Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is when Paul got to Corinthians. When Paul got to Corinthians, it was a, a village near to the river. To the it was, it, was, it was a commercial where people does a lot of commercials. It were different people. It was, there were Greeks. There were Jews. There were Romans and others. And when he got there, when he got to Corinthians, he found that his relatives having a church. But he saw the teaching that they are teaching. He said they were teaching only about religious. Just religious. The, the teaching that cannot change people. And he was sad. He found the kind of teaching that they were teaching. It is just religion th uh, teaching. And they came to him. And they, tried to, they start arguing with him. The religions. Pharisees. People of religion. They are the people that was even harder on Jesus. For a religion person to change, it is so hard. What kind of a religion person uh, characters? When they ask you, if they ask you, how do you know a religion person? A religion person is a person that knows everything about religion. But they don't know Jesus. They don't know God. They don't know Jesus Christ. They know everything about religion. But they don't know Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The things that Paul found there, the people that they call the religion, people, they still hear, they even still hear, they are here and they are so hard on the churches. A religion person, they will, they will steal and pray. They will pray and, ha and, and commit um, and they will have a witchcraft and pray and they will drink and pray and they will hurt others and pray they will create division and pray they pray and pray Hallelujah. 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 
Those are the people that were so hardened in that in that church. Those are the people that were the people that were so hard in that in that church. In Corinthian. But Paul, look at them. Any kind of things that any religion person will do, they will never fi- be filled with the Holy Spirit. They can call themselves that. They can create things for themselves. But they can never be filled by the Holy Spirit. Paul told them. He said we did not receive the spirit of this earth. We have received the Holy Spirit from God. So the Holy Spirit can reveal. So the Spirit can reveal. The goodness that we have received. Hallelujah. On, uh, well, if you read up there, we see, he reads. He said uh, things of spirit. Get known by the spiritual people. A, a, a spiritual person. That person knows everybody. About the, per- the spiritual person, nobody can know them. He said, When I am here, when I came to you, I did not come to tell you about wisdom. Words. But what I came to tell you is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So what I came to tell you is Jesus Christ. Christ Jesus that was crucified. And rise. Narababariwe. 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 Salava wa Yesu Kame ne tamara so Ya duhu jeni mana Uwa Yesu The Jesus Niwa pao na chaka kuwa ugiru That's the Jesus that we Paul want to tell them Hallelujah About he said everything that you are doing you can change your mind you can change and be, and be forgiven he said you have been saved and forgiven well, I want you to be forgiven as well hallelujah hallelujah when you meet with Jesus when you really really meet with Jesus your mind gets changed Hallelujah. 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 Let me say just three things in a normal life that, that shows the person that has met Jesus. And then we're going to finish. Person that has met Jesus, you have, you have a mind, a man that is so patient. A person that has met Jesus, you're, you are very patient. Most of the time, Satan certain want to cause things to us so we can lose the mindset of, of patient. And Satan knows when you have an patient mindset, you are defeated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In everything that we go through, in everything that we go through, Satan wants that our mindset to, to be unpatient so he can take us. Hallelujah. 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 James said, he said, brethren, when you get caused with different trials, he said, know that your trials, you have to be patient in it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many people, many people, 
they went, they stepped back because of no the patience. Because of no have the mindset of patience. Joyce Mayer said, he said the mindset, it is the eyes of your heart. The, your mind, it is the eyes of your heart. Your mind, it is the eyes of your heart. Your mind, when your mindset is not patient, you have been defeated. Another person said, being patient, it is not the power of waiting, but it is the power of having good heart when you are waiting. The Bible says, being patient, it is one of the fruits of spirit. When you read in Galatians, this is a kind of a fruits of, of, of spirit. Being patient. Mindset of patience. That's one of the, the fruits of spirit. Not being patient. It is the, mind, it is the fruit of our pride. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Somebody that has met with Jesus, you have a mindset that is very patient. They will speak bad about you. They will speak good about you. They will curse you. You may face problems. You may try this and it's not impossible. You may go through poverty. You may go into richness. Do you know that you have to even be patient with one So you can capture or remain with what you have known. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Being patient, it is a fruit of spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Second, mindset that, that does not judge others. Mindset that does not judge others. Somebody that has met with Jesus, you don't have a mindset that judge others. The Bible tells us, do not judge others in your heart because so you won't be judged as well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A person that has met Jesus, you, don't, you are not a judge. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you are not a prosecutor. Prosecutor, thank you. And you are not a judge. Judge. That is not the job of the person that has met Jesus. But if you see something wrong to offer to other person, have a mindset of bringing them back in love. But do not judge. The Bible said the only person that is going to judge yeah, us is one. Yes. The person that has met Jesus. Uh, you don't have a mindset that judge others. There is three enemies. That, that, that destroys uh, the, the way we live with others. In our families, in our church and everywhere. And, uh, when you start judging others, that's the first enemy. Second enemy. Is to speak bad about others. Oh, criticize, criticize, yes. Eh? to criticize others that's the second person the third person those three things when you met with Jesus they live as well the things that you, do, you just feel about yourself. It is when, let's say, Pastor Claude says something. I don't hear it the same way he said it. I will hear something else. 
Those are the three things that destroy people's lives. A person that has met with Jesus, those things lives. The third mindset, the mindset, the lazy mindset, lazy mindset. Are we together? A lazy mindset. When you feel like you cannot pray in your house, when you feel like you cannot read the word of God in your house, when you feel like you cannot put your, the word of God in YouTube and listen to it, when you feel like there's not something that you can do in the church, when you feel like there's not anything that you can do, that's the lazy mindset. Hallelujah. 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 When there's a time that you feel like you can't do anything, you cannot pray in your house. When you get in the church, you cannot pray. When they close their eyes, you always are open. You feel like you cannot do anything. That's a lazy mindset. A person that has met with Jesus, we don't ha they don't have my lazy mindset. Bad spirits. It is what is hide behind the laziness. Bad spirits is what is hide behind the laziness. Hallelujah. 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 Bad spirits is the one that is hide behind the lazy mindset. Can Satan a certain we gave him an empty place. An empty life. That's where Satan comes. That's why you have to fight against the lazy mindset. Hallelujah. 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 A wise person said, you can learn how to think good, have good thoughts. We can learn how to think, to have good thoughts. And when you think, you, when you have good thoughts, you will reach higher. And to God, we start with our good thinking and then good actions comes after. Because you cannot say that you will do good things when you have that the bad mindset. When your mindset is not that good. The foundation or the beginning of it, it is the good thoughts and then good actions. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We, are fin we, we are done. We're about to pray. So God can so God can awake our thoughts. If there is a heart uh, that is that is judging others, a thought that is lazy. So God can can awaken them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hembura umuri mamu mama zene naza dufashi. Eka masai mwagu hanyi mwusengi maani. Hembura 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 umuri mamu ritwe Subire mo
Let me ask Pastor to pray for us so we can end the service. Let me ask to pray for us so we can end the service. Let me ask Pastor to pray for us so we can end the service. And the time of Noah, God looked on people. He saw that all his th- all their thoughts are different from God. And he only saw Noah. He was the only one that has the good mindset. But everything else that others were thinking, it was we was not pleased in the presence of God. Sometimes we think. Sometimes we think. And we think that we're doing good things. But God is the only one that knows the good and bad. For you to know, you have to have the Holy Spirit. You have to have Jesus in you. As he said, the one that made Jesus, or the one that thinks, and they said, this is no good, or this is good. But before you meet with the man, you cannot tell the good and the bad. That you will call good a bad, and the bad you will call it good. Let's ask God to reveal Jesus in us so we cannot to, def- to differentiate. The word of God is true. 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 Birashoboka Urakoze mwami kuko ijambo ryawe zari duhembura. Urakoze kumpano zizi duhaye. Turahembuze, turumvise kandi turakwakiriye mutima yacu. Gasanira uvuze ijambo ryawe. Gasanira umusobanuzi. Gasanira n'abari yumvise mu zina rya Yesu.